Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the top three best stocks to buy right now. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's get right into it. This video is mainly for investors who want to invest into disruptive stocks, and right now I have three businesses that provide an excellent investment opportunity for these types of investors. Here is a quick overview of these three businesses, and I'm sure you could probably guess at least two of the three. The first one we're going to start off talking about is a big data and analytics company which specializes in artificial intelligence. They have been growing their clientele very rapidly, and this business has demonstrated their resiliency and rapid growth potential over the last few quarters. On top of that, their commercial sector is rapidly expanding, and they also have a very lucrative government business going on as well. Next up for our second company, this is going to be a prominent fintech company that specializes in consumer consumer finance. This company is known for their strong financial results and they try to focus on growing their margins and fortifying their balance sheet. In my personal opinion, this company is extremely resilient and I believe it provides investors a very good path towards success and share price appreciation. Lastly, let's talk about another company which also specializes in artificial intelligence. This particular business is a major participant in the semiconductor sector which uses creativity and strategic insights to weather and grow their overall revenues. This company has a wide product portfolio and a very invigorating strategic vision regarding their future growth. They are a challenger in the industry and they are consistently trying to climb the mountain to be top dog in their respected space. They are also poised to capitalize on the new possibilities in artificial intelligence because for companies who are utilizing artificial intelligence, then buying various products and services from this company is an absolute must. With that quick synopsis out of the way, let's dive right into it to where our first company is going to be none other than Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. Palantir Technologies is a big data and analytics analytics company which serves both commercial enterprises as well as government agencies and they are constantly acquiring and expanding their clientele and their customer base. Just recently they attracted around 41 net new customers in a quarter one and this would represent a 69% increase in their consumers on a year over year basis. On top of that, they have a very prestigious clientele list, which would include companies like Ferrari, General Mills, Cleveland Clinic, and even Lowe's. Palantir Technologies is consistently landing new clients, and that would include clients over in the United States military and abroad. Because they are consistently growing their clientele base, this means that their remaining contract value is showing notable increases, which is great news for investors. This metric indicates that there is high demand for their products and services, which will continuously uptick over time, thus increasing increasing their overall share price as they land more clients and contracts. You should also be aware that in quarter one, the company recorded around $505 million in commercial total contract value, which indicates a massive 187% year-over-year increase in this particular metric. Again, this is just great news for this company. You should also be aware that since Palantir has been specializing in artificial intelligence for quite a while now, their commercial products are becoming increasingly popular. This allows Palantir to take advantage of the opportunity of various commercial enterprises wanting to integrate artificial intelligence in their day-to-day -day operations to make themselves more effective and efficient. However, there is one problem because the company has faced challenges internationally because the European countries are facing economic turmoil. But even though that's bad news, Palantir's international government revenue still increased by around 33% on a year-over-year -year basis, according to this article. This is why investors may want to take advantage of this opportunity right now, even despite geopolitical and macroeconomic uncertainty abroad. Right now, Palantir Technologies is trading at a slight premium regarding their PLTR share price, but over time, I believe this company will grow into their valuation, and then the sky will be the limit for this company. Therefore, I would encourage you to look further into Palantir Technologies, so you can do your own research to determine whether or not it's good for your portfolio. Because if you want a very innovative and disruptive stock to add to your portfolio, then look no further than Palantir Technologies. Next up, let's talk about our next top pick, which is none other than SoFi Technologies, ticker symbol S-O-F-I. SoFi Technologies is a fintech company or a financial technology company that essentially operates as a digital bank, and they are bringing in buku bucks in regards to their lending business. This shows that they have a very steady revenue and income stream, and and their SoFi bank derived around $100 million in net income at a 21% margin, which is great news for investors. These 
metrics tell investors that the company is consistently growing profitability and expanding their margins in a, this particular division, which means as time goes on, SoFi is just going to become a better and a better investment. So why not pick up some shares right now before it grows into its full potential? You should also be aware that SoFi increased their tangible book value up to $4.1 billion for the eighth consecutive quarter in a row. This means their tangible book value per share increased to around $3.92, which equates to a 16% increase sequentially, which is great news for this company and investors. Lastly, you need to know that this company is rapidly adding and expanding their customer base to where they added 8.1 million new members, which represents a 44% year-over-year increase according to this article. You should also be aware that this company has three main revenue segments, even though their lending business is the most prosperous one. But don't let that dissuade you from investing into this company, because over time, they are consistently investing into all three of these segments, so so they can continuously bring in revenues. Then last but not least, let's talk about a company which many artificial intelligence players are buying from, which is none other than AMD, also known as Advanced Micro Devices, and their ticker symbol is AMD. AMD's revenue for their data center sector increased by around 80% year over year, up to $2.3 billion according to this article, thanks to the influx that we've seen in regards to artificial intelligence. The main drivers for this particular expansion was AMD's successful ramp up of of their MI300X GPU shipments, and they are also increasing their overall server sales in regards to their CPU sales. AMD's new CPUs are widely used, especially in cloud and artificial intelligence environments, and this is very good news for business. Many major companies, such as American Airlines, DBS, Shell, ST Micro, and many others, are using AMD products to power their own businesses. But that's not all, because we are also waiting on AMD's impending release of their next generation processors, which means that AMD is very well positioned to take a larger chunk of this particular market in regards to data centers. As artificial intelligence continuously ramps up, I anticipate that companies like Palantir and AMD will continuously grow in their respected share price, although their share price may be volatile over the short term, meaning over the next 12 months. But all in all, both Palantir Technologies and AMD seem to have a very good grip on their current market segments. We also have good news for SoFi Technologies considering that the Federal Reserve will end up lowering interest rates sometime during this year, and once that happens, this will heavily benefit financial stocks and technology stocks. That's why Palantir Technologies, SoFi Technologies, and AMD clearly should be on your radar if you want to invest into disruptive stocks, and I would highly encourage that you do research on each of these companies before you make these additions to your portfolio. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.